Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Hits, a Q30 Sports Special previewing the upcoming Quinnipiac versus UMass Lowell ice hockey game alongside men's ice hockey beat reporter MJ Baird. I'm Kyle Lavasser and MJ, Quinnipiac won against RIT last night in what was the Michael Gartig show, a 4-0 win for the Bobcats. It only seems right that we start this talking about the two veteran goalies. Uh, what, do we, what do we got? Certainly, Kyle, this is going to be a really good goaltending matchup. Like you said, Michael Gartig versus Kevin Boyle, two of the arguably premier goaltenders in the entire nation, let alone their conferences respectively. Um, both have very good save percentage. Michael Gartig, he is leading the nation tied in shutouts. And Kevin Boyle, his save percentage, second in the nation, best in the ECAC. So there you go right there. That, they're the stats to prove it. And even in the games yesterday, like you said, Michael Gartig against RIT, shutting out RIT, when RIT probably dominated a lot of the first period, a lot of the offensive possession for some of the game. And in the um, UMass Lowell Yale game, Kevin Boyle standing on his head, really playing a great game for that uh, Riverhawks team to advance past Yale and move on to Sunday. Moving on to special teams, which has very, really been a spark plug for the Quinnipiac offense. They have the third best uh, PK in the nation, as well as the fourth best power play in the nation. Let's focus in on the power play. Okay. UMass Lowell, the 16th best uh, penalty kill in the country, but they are very disciplined and yes. limit the amount of penalty uh, penalty minutes. They have the least amount in Hockey East. What do we got for penalty, for special teams? Yeah, so special teams, I think, Kyle, is going to be crucial to this game. Um, I wrote about it in my game recap. Check that out at Q30Television.com, excuse me. And, you know, the Quinnipiac power play, they pride their team on this power play. It's really good. Uh, Sam Annis, Travis St. Dennis, Landon Smith, three forwards on that line that just, they really click. But like you said, UMass Lowell is a very disciplined team. They don't take a lot of penalties. So, if this game's going to rely a lot on five-on-five -on -five hockey, it could really go either way. And especially if you, if uh, Quinnipiac is able to get UMass Lowell to take some penalties, and if Sam Manis isn't 100%, he may not be. He may not be able to play to his full potential on the power play. That could be dangerous for uh, for Quinnipiac. Sam Manis, a game-time decision in last night's game. He did end up playing, finish the game with one assist. Let's move on to our keys to victory for this game. Uh, MJ, Quinnipiac has gone off to a couple of slow starts the last couple games. Do you think they're going to have to start soon, or get out to a start to win this game? Yeah, I do. I think it's very indicative of the UMass Lowell season. Last night in the Yale game was the first time that they have come from behind after two periods to go on and win the game. They were down 2-1 to Yale after two. So for this Quinnipiac team, I have to think that Rand Pecknold is telling his team, get on the board early, get a lead, one Probably not enough, as you saw UMass Lowell did it last night, but two, maybe three goals. They could put this UMass Lowell team away quickly. And then, oppositely for the UMass Lowell team, clock up the neutral zone, create some turnovers. You know, last night they did a really good job of stopping Yale in the neutral zone. And as we know, Quinnipiac likes to make those side-to-side, rink-wide rink passes, excuse me. So if, Yale, if, excuse me, if UMass Lowell can intercept some of those and go the other way with odd man rushes, they'll have a lot of chances to get pucks past Gartic. 7.30 p.m. at the Times Union Center. The winner moves on to the Frozen Four in Tampa Bay. For all live updates, follow at Q30 Sports on Twitter. We'll be putting out plenty of, of content after the game, so make sure to check out www.q30television.com for it all. For MJ Baird, I'm Kyle Lavasser. Have a good one.